what I'm trying to say here is that the Zeitgeist movement really operates on multiple levels, and we need to figure out ways to increase those levels. Let's assume for a moment that we could never obtain a resource-based economy, hypothetically. Let's assume for a moment that that's just not going to happen. Does that mean the values of the movement are not applicable? Does that mean that promoting the idea that we should relate things to physical reference to the planet and using science uh, can't be also utilized in you know, detached ways? Does that mean that the philosophy of taking everything into account and understanding people's indoctrinations and what generates aberrant behavior, does that mean all of that information is thrown out the window if we cannot obtain a resource-based economy? The point at hand is that we're shaping behavior all the time. And even if we affect one person in a way that enlightens their worldview to see each other more as equals, to see the need to be sustainable with a direct physical referent, to listen to the natural world and appreciate what the beauty of science has to offer about, about the world we live in and about how we view the world, if we can simply get one person to take that view, I think we've hit a unique accomplishment. So keep that in mind a little bit when you think about what your involvement in the movement actually is. Realize that it's a multifaceted position of influence. There is no, there's no end game. It's not just, ooh, a resource-based economy. We're doing something of a cultural significance that I think is uh, deeply profound and transitional in our educational processes. And uh, it's, this is probably self-evident to most of you out there, but I feel the need to state it. So there it is.